Hey guys, what's going on? So, I've been getting so many questions today about, you know, what's going on with private labels? Private label dead. Uh, how can I get reviews? You know, how are we going to be able to compete with all the people, with all the sellers that have hundreds of reviews? You know, what do we do? You know, the sky's falling. You know, it's not like that. Honestly, it's not like that. So, what you need to understand is Amazon is uh, pretty much going after the people that, and they're 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 shutting down the uh, incentivized reviews. So if you are giving somebody an incentive to give you a review, whether it's a free product or it is a discounted product, that would be an incentive. Um, so they are shutting that down. Um, do I think that is bad? No, I don't. Um, I think that's actually a great thing. Now I've been in private label for a little while. Um, it's actually He's coming up on it's like 18 months, something like that. So I have you know dozens of products. I don't talk about much. Um, if if you were to get into private label right now, so let's say you don't even have any products, you don't you have nothing. Um, should you be scared? You shouldn't be scared. You should be um, you need to be properly educated. Um, Private label is a risk, and it's because you never know if your item's going to sell. Is it going to take off? Is it going to gain some type of traction and start to get some sales? You never know that going in, and that's why it is a risk. Now, when I first started, I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know how to get reviews. I didn't know how to get sales. I didn't know how to do anything. All I knew was that you know, I could buy this product. It would sell at this price on Amazon, and hopefully I'd make this much money. No big deal. Sounds easy. It wasn't. I did not know I needed reviews. Reviews are a big factor. What is happening right now is that a lot of accounts and a lot of people I've talked to have been getting some of their reviews pulled. They've been getting um, a couple people have actually got their account shut down. A few people that I know um, have actually had their products delisted off of Amazon. That is huge. Now the reason why a product becomes delisted is because that person pretty much took advantage of Amazon and took advantage of you know giving away a product for a free review. So you know they were pretty much trading, you know, they were giving somebody something, you know, an incentive to you know provide a review, a quality review. What Amazon is doing now is actually pulling back on the people that did that. And so they are taking away some of their reviews, which are dropping their ratings, which are dropping their sales, which are causing people to panic. Don't panic. This is actually, you know, it's a good thing. Um, now, for all those of you that said retail arbitrage is dead, online arbitrage is dead, you know, we need to go to private label. You know, what do you think now? Amazon's looking after the big picture. They're looking after their company, their business, you know, selling, you know, and so that's what they do. They're not worried about, you know, the businesses, the for-profit businesses that are over there selling reviews. They don't care about that. They don't care about, you know, the those of us that are running, you know, smaller retail arbitrage, online arbitrage businesses. They don't care how you get the products. All they care about is their their the end result, their sales, their customers happy. Customers are not happy when they read all these reviews. Let's say you have 100 reviews, uh, 99 of them are fake, and they're all five-star reviews, and that one real review is a one-star because the product was just crap. They don't like that. Amazon hates that, and that's why they're doing this because they noticed so many of these products that uh, were selling in the past uh, you know, were you know had good rankings and stuff, and they were doing well in the past. The quality has diminished over time, and because of that, you know the rankings are starting to come bad. Are starting to be bad. So what do you do? Now, I know I'm kind of all over the place in this video, but I just wanted to kind of get this out, get this out there because it's very important. What do you do to get reviews? You need to provide a quality product. You need to do a proper launch, and by doing a proper launch, it's I'm talking about more than just you know, doing, you know, um, some social media blasts, some, uh, you know, emails here and there. I'm talking about getting on a bunch of websites. I'm talking about getting your product into, you know, reputable people's hands. So somebody that has a large following on social media, on, you know, YouTube, on, you know, you know, on some uh, blog or whatever, you're giving them a free product or you're giving them whatever. You're not trying to get a review. Okay. Now, if what if they promote your product? 
what if you give them this product and it really helps them and so they start talking about it. they talking about it on social media talking about it on uh, you know their their blog or on you know YouTube or whoever and all their followers are starting to buy this product and now they're giving the review all you're doing is getting your product out there okay this is the same thing that happens when a new product comes to comes to market whether it's going to QVC or you know wherever uh, you give away you know hundreds of your product or you know dozens or you know one or two whatever to you know people that have some type of pull some type of influence and that's what's starting to get gain your uh, some traction for your product I'm not saying you need to ask for reviews that's never something that I've been big on yes I, I have given away you know probably probably a couple hundred products to get reviews um, out of all my products that I have so I'm not big on that but the hardest thing to get over is the no reviews. How do you get a sale with no review? Why would you promote a, a listing that has no reviews? The hardest thing for people to do is buy something that has no reviews. So with that, as long as you have one or two reviews, you should be fine. Just know when you're starting your private label business and you're starting to get these reviews, you don't need to worry about all the people up there with hundreds or thousands of reviews because I guarantee you the majority of those people are going to get a lot of their reviews pulled and they're going to get a lot of their listings delisted so the amount of competitions that that's out there is going to start to dwindle down now with that said Amazon is not pulling these reviews because they're changing their policy because at the time maybe you were doing things correctly the reason why I say it in air quotes is because most people were not doing it correctly. Most people gave away a product and the person gave some fantastic review. And then they talked about, you know, how they got this product, it's all this and that, and you know, hundreds and hundreds of words for a review. The average buyer does not leave a review with hundreds of words. So when Amazon, you know, scans through all these products and all these reviews, they're gonna feel they're gonna realize very quickly that that review is fake. That person did not abide by Amazon Amazon's terms of service. Because of that, they will pull that review. Okay, when you start getting reviews pulled, and these are the ones that have pretty much been your product's been riding on these reviews because these were you know a year ago or six months ago. These are you know the foundation of your product. So once those are gone, and you're only you're stuck with those the newest reviews. If those reviews are bad. That's going to kill your product, I guarantee it. So just know if your reviews are bad, you might, I'm saying you just might have to delete your entire listing and start over from scratch. Um, there's one product that I have, I think it's my second or third product. I am planning on actually just pulling that listing because I have a feeling, okay, it's, it's not something that, this is, this is the product that I pretty much learned how to do giveaways, how to do all this stuff. And so... I have a feeling I will get some of these reviews pulled. Okay, and so I'm thinking I'm just gonna delete the listing. I think right now I only have this is one of the products I don't I don't reorder anymore. So I think right now I have like 30 or 40 of these this product in stock on Amazon. And so I think I'm just gonna have it pulled. I think I might either liquidate my item somewhere else or just forget about and call it you know some mode of a loss I've already made enough money on it but I'm thinking about doing that and so it's still up in the air right now I'm gonna see what happens over the next probably week and I kind of take it from there but just know I'm thinking about pulling a product myself and either doing a separate listing doing a completely new one because my reviews are not bad but what I've been getting a lot lately is Amazon is taking so long to ship the items and then when I go to Amazon and say hey you know uh, you know this the person reviewed my product and they're saying that the 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 shipping just took so long um, and all this Amazon's not pulling my, pulling those reviews I don't know why that is because normally they do when it's not talking about the product itself and it's talking about shipping and the, the shipping is being done by Amazon Amazon always pulls it 100% of the time now it's like you know what's going on so you know, coming into fourth quarter, I'm still thinking about getting this product pulled, doing a new listing or something. So we'll see what happens. But 
I just want to shoot this video because I know a lot of you guys have been asking about, you know, these incentivized reviews and how is it going to affect private label. It's not just going to affect private label. Um, it's going to affect uh, anybody selling any product. If, let's say, Nike decided they were going to give away some shoes for, you know, a couple of reviews. Um, if the reviews did not meet Amazon's terms of service, their TOS, then chances are Amazon's, Amazon is going to pull those reviews. So, you know, it's the big companies are not um, out of the fire on this one. It's not just us little guys that are in it. Um, it's everybody. Uh, people that have been doing bundles. I know, I know for a fact that one of the companies that I hired gave away some of the products. So I hired this company. I gave them four... Um, I'm not tell you what it is, but I gave them four items, and they were going to review it. They're going to do some, so they're going to do a social media blast. They're going to do uh, five YouTube videos. They're going to do um, pictures, and they're going to do um, something else. I don't remember what the other thing was, but I guarantee they gave away that product, and I'm pretty sure um, that's where some of my reviews came from from this initial thing and so this is a company I don't use anymore I don't even know if they're around uh, but you know it's, it's something that I, I know happened and it was on a bundle okay this was a bundle that it was one product that I was private labeling and it was another product that kind of went with it which was not a private label product it was something that I picked up from Walmart and so I have a feeling that those reviews will um, something's gonna happen with those reviews. Um, I don't know exactly what, and so that's another thing I need to look at. I need to I need to look back and see what my business has been doing, and kind of make sure it's safe because, you know, I don't I don't feel 100% safe right now with you know where my account is, um, with the things that've been going on because I know people have been getting their account suspended because of offering free products for reviews and it wasn't done correctly. Um, I believe everything that I've done has been correct, but hiring other companies in the very beginning, that's where I think I'm, I might take a hit. And so because of that, um, now if Amazon did suspend my account because of that, I would reply back to them how I'm going to fix it. I am simply not going to hire any more companies. I'm going to do everything myself. Um, this is a product I will have, you know, I will pull off Amazon. I'll have it delisted and I will not sell this, this ASIN again. Um, so I think with that clear plan of action, I think they would approve my account very quickly. Um, but just know, having a clear plan of action is the key to getting an account from suspended to active. So I've never had my account suspended. Um, knock on wood. And I don't plan on it. So uh, I'm going to do whatever I can to make sure my account is safe. Um, whether that is because of reviews, it's because of you know product descriptions, it's because of listings, uh, whatever it is, I'm going to make sure I do whatever I can to make sure my account is safe, stays active, and I keep selling. Um, with that said, don't, if you're going to get in private label, and again, I know my video is kind of all over the place today, but it's because I've been getting so many emails, um, not just emails about private label, emails about bundles, emails about wholesale, um, just everything. I can't answer everything in one video. Obviously, that's why I have hundreds and hundreds of videos here on YouTube, but I can say one thing is that Amazon is going to keep making changes as long as you do things correctly. And I'm doing things correctly now. <clears throat> I don't think in the very beginning, I think I saw the, the the bright lights. I saw, you know, the the quick money. And so I think in the very beginning, I took some shortcuts and I'm not, I'm not, you know, ashamed to say it. You know, everybody takes shortcuts here and there. But it's the people that learn from those mistakes. And I, I didn't learn the hard way. I never got anything you know, somebody saying, hey, you can't do this, you can't do that. You're doing things all, you know, incorrect. Uh, Amazon never hit me with anything or sent me any emails. So I never got, I never learned the hard way, but I learn, you learn as you go. So with that said, you know, the, the mistakes I made back when I first started, I plan on fixing all those mistakes. And whether that means I take down bundles, I take down private label products, I do all this stuff to just clean up my account, I'm going to do whatever it takes. So I guarantee you, you should do the same thing as well because 
it will benefit your business in the long run. Um, you might not see it today. You might feel like, oh, you're just taking you know 10 steps backwards, but sometimes you have to take 10 steps backwards to take 100 steps forward. So just keep that in mind. If you guys have any questions on private label, this new review thing, I'm gonna talk about more in the future. Uh, this video, I, ha I just have a bunch of stuff to do today. So this video, I wanted to keep it short and at probably 12, 15 minutes, whatever it is. Um, it's probably not short right now. But I wanted to uh, I wanted to just touch on this because I know a lot of you guys have been asking. Um, is it something to worry about? No, it's not. Is it something to keep an eye on? Yes, it is. Do I think it's going to affect everybody? It's going to affect everybody. And it's going to be good, good and bad because maybe you have a product that you didn't do any of this stuff to. So you're not worried about it. You're like, oh, it's no big deal. It's not affecting me. It will affect you. And the reason it's going to affect you is because your product might be going from selling you know two or three items per day to selling five or ten items per day because all those people above you are like, eh, their reviews are gone. Your reviews are now, how they hold more authority so your products actually switch places. You start moving up in their search engine. That's how it's gonna affect you and it's gonna affect you in a great way. It's gonna benefit you immensely. And so you need to keep an eye on this stuff. You need to you know, stay involved in everything that's going on with Amazon because even though you might think it's not affecting you, it is going to affect you at some point. So again, if you guys have any questions on private label, reviews, retail arbitrage, online arbitrage, you know, whatever, you know, coaching, uh, Q4. Q4 is huge. Don't underestimate Q4. I guarantee you, you will regret it. You know, January 1st, you'll be like, you know, why didn't I sell more stuff? It's because you didn't send in more stuff. So get on it, start sending stuff. And again, if you guys have any questions, let me know. And uh, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, channel if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you guys on the next video.